A middle school in the Catalina Foothills District is now at the center of debate over student privacy versus parents' rights. Nine on your side's Ryan Fish spoke with parents about the 18-month-old message that started it all. This week, a year-and-a-half-old email resurfacing and sparking debate. The subject line, confidential list of students with pronouns and preferred names different than in Synergy. In it, Orange Grove Middle School principal Mark Rubin Tolls shares a list of students telling staff, quote, you may have been challenged recently to keep some of our kids' pronouns and preferred names straight and to remember what can and can't be shared with families. Please be very careful. Students in red are not comfortable with us sharing this information with their parents' guardians. It is our responsibility to protect student privacy in these matters. What you see in the email is the precise kind of action you want from your principal or an academic leader or administrator. It's caring, it's thoughtful, it's committed, it's creating a safe environment for students at the school, and that's the kind of thing that really matters for their well-being. Orange Grove parent David Spara has one child at the school and another who recently graduated. He and others stand behind their principal as does the Catalina Foothills School District, which tells us, quote, Mark Rubin Tolls is a thoughtful, talented, and compassionate administrator. His decision in 2021 to create a confidential email with a list of students was inconsistent with our district practice. Regardless, we want to be clear that he has our full support. But other parents are concerned. I spoke on the phone with one who wants to remain anonymous, fearing retaliation against them or their child. They want Rubin Tolls to be disciplined. Telling me beyond the political debate over gender identity, withholding information from parents can be a slippery slope. And in general, parents or kids who disagree with the district, quote, have a target on their back. Both parents I spoke with agree on one thing. They want there to be more discussions with the district. What would you like to see happen next? Some sort of debriefing on it needs to happen at the level of the school board of say, okay, well, what is the policy? What happened? Where would we like to go and what would we like to do from here? Arizona law states parents have the right to make health decisions for their children and review psychological records from their schools. Both could make mention of a child's gender identity. In the Catalina Foothills, Ryan Fish, Kega 9 on your side.